Hello? <laughs> this can't be a human. Skyfire85. That was a robot. Ice Hockey 26! Oh yeah, this is a real player for sure. What is he doing? Are you gonna use the ball or are you just gonna stand there? He's making the attack. No, he missed. Oh, he's making the attack! Here we go! Here we go! Oh, it did nothing. Oh, we got another one! Is this a human? Uh, I don't, I don't think this is a human. Mesh Daddy 85 That's not a person! That's not a real person! I think it's safe to say that anyone who has ever played any online video game has seen their fair share of bots. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth here, but to give a brief definition, bots are meant to play the game just as a real player would to help new players learn the game, fill in empty slots and lobbies, or keep the game functional offline or if the game just straight up dies. Bots generally are a good thing. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say that bots are necessary in gaming because without them, you end up with insights. But I'm not here to talk about the good bots. Rocket League, Midnight Ghost Hunt, any shooter game, or really just most games for that matter. Instead, I want to talk about the bots that were specifically designed by the developers to inflate lobbies by posing as real players. Oh, this guy... Yeah, that's not real. Spoken Ward. You cannot tell me that there's one human thought going through his head. Real players. Fortnite needs no introduction, so I'm going to keep this nice and short. So to summarize, Epic Games released the game in 2017, and it blew up. I don't think you need me to tell you that, but everyone and their mother was loving Fortnite until the game fell off, mostly due to map changes and people were getting a little too good at building. So to combat this, Epic decided to add in bots to every lobby to make the lives of those with lives a lot easier. The only problem with this, the game is 20 times easier now. Even for someone who really isn't that good at Fortnite like me, winning is a lot easier when only like 20 people in a lobby are actually real players. So to prove that these bots are making the game easier and that they're literally everywhere, I'm gonna see how many of them I can find. All right, like I just said, the plan is pretty simple. I'm gonna go really far away from the bus because that's where the bots are. And we are gonna look for as many as we can. And the reason I'm going far away is because when you go like to a hot spot, that's where you find the 20%. The 20% that are real players that will absolutely slaughter me. You go really far away and the game kind of forces a bunch of bots to fly over here with you just so you're not all by yourself. That's what we're looking for. And also the sooner I can get a good round, the sooner I can stop playing and the sooner I'll be happy again. Oh, and I'm playing zero build, by the way, because I'm just not ready to deal with tryhards today. EMP stealth camo? What does this thing do? Oh. Ah. Oh. Eh. Okay. And now I lost my invisibility. So basically, you're invisible until you move. So it kind of defeats the entire body. Yeah, that thing sucks. All right, I have a shotgun. This, honestly, this is good enough to deal with most bots. I should probably clarify, because I land on a spot like with this guy over here, this doesn't count because that's an NPC. He's not pretending to be a real player. He doesn't take a spot in the lobby. So as much as I think it's stupid that these things exist in this video game... I don't really care about the Legion Heavy Elites of the world. I don't really need a key card, honestly. Oh. Is this... Mm. My heart tells me that this is not... Pinnacle 6. Yeah, my gut feeling was right. That was not a human. Oh, we got another one! Let's see if he can hit a shot. Oh, good job. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yes! Yes, you almost got it. Just aim a little to the left. Or to your right. Oh, oh. I'm deleting my YouTube channel. That's it. Goodbye, guys. So because I only found two bots in this game, here are some of the other bots I ran into in my other failed attempts. Is that what I think it is? Oh, yeah, that's not a human being. Oh, he's retreating. And he's dead. Anonymous. Yeah, anonymous is another word for bot. 
I would say that these games absolutely prove my point about the game being way too easy. Well, as long as you don't sit there for too long, because then they get aimbot. But these bots really are actively making Fortnite easier. Gone are the days of my palms sweating in the top 10 in 2018, or me going crazy yes! and finally getting my first solo win. Instead, I get to troll bots, which honestly is a fair trade. With all that in mind, though, Fortnite isn't the worst game out there for bots. I mean, at least they have a purpose to remove the high amount of tryhards in casual games. And honestly, they do a good job at that. In fact, it's not even the worst game by epic in terms of bots. Released in the middle of the pandemic in 2020 by Devolver Digital, the game blew up quickly and it died even quicker, largely due to a lack of content and also a uh, certain other game. The game kind of remained dead for a while until Epic Games took over and just like Clockwork, they made the game free to play, they added in bots, and the game blew up again in summer of 2022. The only problem was, get this, there still was a lack of content. I said this in a previous video, but it's already kind of hard to keep players around when you're just playing 15 to 20 different mini games over and over again. But it's even worse when you don't change the rotation and you don't update the game ever. In fact, since my last Fall Guys video in July of 2023, they are still in the exact same season. So what we're left with is a dead game with an over run of bots which don't really serve any purpose because the game was pretty easy as it was. At least in Fortnite's case that game was actually difficult because of the tryhards so for me Fall Guys adding bots is even more egregious to me. But with all of that being said I'm gonna see just how many bots there are in these 40 player lobbies and see if the exact same problems from the last few years persisted to the present day which given my previous endeavors with this game it probably hasn't changed much. Alright just like with Fortnite the plan is pretty simple. I'm looking for as many bots as possible in these games and I know there's only 40 players instead of 100 for Fortnite, but I promise you that won't matter because 35 of them are going to be bots. I promise you I'm probably in like the top like 10% of players just because I'm an actual human being with human thoughts. Wait, I'm actually locked in right now. Hold on. Dude, that might have been a generational performance right there. I'm in my Fall Guys Prime right now. Let's probably address the main thing here. Yeah, I switched mics, and I know this one's a lot worse, but my other one just keeps breaking, as you saw with the Fortnite video, and I am not recording for another, like, hour just for it to break for half of it. I, I am not doing it. So, yeah, you guys are just gonna have to put up with my airport quality mic. Mr. Hades, he's a rookie. Oh, he's got the default skin, default border. Oh, yeah, that's a rookie right there. Country Boy Pro 2. Oh, what a silly goose. Dude, the bots are rolling right now. I've already seen a ton of them. Wait, what? 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 Ah, um, yeah, that, that's what happens when you play squads. Uh, of course, I got the bot teammates. I love bots. I love bots. That's why I'm making a whole video about it. Oh, my God. Uh, Alright, we're trying this again. So yeah, as you just saw, we're playing squads, which unfortunately means the bots are on my team, and I have to carry them. Alright, this is an easy game. Surely the bots can handle this. Maybe I'll get a team with real human players. Imagine. Panda Brianna 13. Oh no, I have another bot. Oh, it's over. Two of my teammates are ahead of me. That is actually really encouraging considering I'm actually playing half decent. Yeah, see, I would love... You know what? No, I've got balls. I'm going in the middle. Why would I go on the side? That is f for lame people. No! Oh, <laughs> I survived. Panda Brianna 13 was the first person to qualify. Dude, no way. I have a like top tier bot right here. Oh, I'm getting carried. I'm getting carried by the bot. This is great. Speed Slayer. Oh, okay. You know what? I don't think this is a bot. I stand corrected. That was a bot. Oh, boy. Creative map. Woo! I love creative mode. You guys are about to be amazed by how quickly I can do this. That was almost embarrassing. People need to move out of my way. You guys are about to be amazed by... You guys are about to be amazed by how quickly I can do this on attempt number three! Attempt number four. I was just about to talk all of this about how easy this one is and how it's like the most boring creative map I've ever seen in my life. And unfortunately, I'm getting clowned on right now. Somehow I'm still in the top half of players. That's really sad. Oh, this is the hard part, guys. Do you think I can make this jump? Ugh. Woo, I just made it. Bendy Ba 88 Stadium Superstar. Oh, yeah, he's got a default character. Let's do it. Oh, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, oh, he clutched up, and he didn't make it. What? 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 I can't! I can't! Dude, trying to carry these bots is, like, actually, like, Sisyphus levels of, like, just pointless. This is not, this is not gonna happen. I played a couple more rounds after that. I won both of them. Here's proof. But that's mostly because I had actually real players as teammates. Let's see my other teammates' names. Daddy Gatto and 
Bootius Maximus. Oh, I've definitely got like the all-star Fall Guys middle school team on my hands. Oh no. I kind of stopped focusing on bots by that point, so that's why I'm not including these, but I think you get the point that an already fairly easy game is made ridiculously easy by bots. In solos, that is. Squads are brutal. So overall, I would say that the bots definitely are a problem in this game, but what Fall Guys has that Fortnite doesn't is that there's enough random BS that comes with Mario Party minigames like the ones in Fall Guys that it's not completely mindless. With that in mind though, I kind of wish they were either removed or at least reduced since the game is kind of dead and they might actually need them. So in conclusion, bro falls better. Go play that instead. Honestly, as much as I clown on these games for their bots, I could see a reason for both existing, even if they make the game less interesting overall. Like I said at the beginning, bots are necessary to keep these online games afloat, and also to give new players a real chance against the tryhards of the world. Real quick, I just want to point out that In Silence does have a single player, so the game is functional, but the whole point of the game is its communication, which bots can't really do, which makes sense why they aren't in the game. In fact, I would say that In Silence actually proves that bots should be in the games, because you don't want to have a dead game that's basically unplayable and multiplayer. Player, unless you rope all your friends in. But anyways, the point I'm trying to make with all this is that while bots suck, without them, a lot of games would suck even more.